Welcome to today's episode about comparison operators. You will be using comparison operators in almost every programming language. Comparison operators compare values and return true or false. But you could also echo out a specific text instead of a true or false. Some of you might be familiar with comparison operators and some of you might not. Therefore, I will give you a quick refresher about them. I already created two variables called x and y. And I set x equal to 10 and y equal to 15. I haven't discussed an if else statement before. I will create a more in depth video in the future about them. But the basic idea of an if else statement is if the value uh, in between the parentheses is true, this statement will be printed out. If it's not true, it will go to the next line and print out the following line. Like I said, an if else statement could be even more complicated, therefore, I will make an in depth video in a couple of episodes. Let's put the two variables that we created in the parentheses so we could compare them to each other. So we have variable x is equal to 10 and variable y, which is equal to 15. So let's say that we want to know which one if variable x is less than variable y. This could be done with a less than symbol. Let's save it. Refresh the browser and you can see this is true because 10 is less than 15. We could also see if 10 is greater than 15 by using the greater than symbol. Let's save it, refresh the browser. Now we can see that this is false. We could also see if variable x is equal to variable y with two is equal to symbols. Save it, refresh the browser. And this is also 5 because 10 is not equal to 15. But what if we change 10 to 15? Save it. And you can see that the output is true because 15 is equal to 15. We could also see if variable x is not equal to variable y. And this is false because if we change variable y to 10, and refresh the browser, it will be true because it is not equal. And the same thing can be done with the less than and greater than symbol. Let's save it, refresh the browser, it's still true. If we put make y15, it is false. The next operator is to see if x and y are identical. This can be done with three equal to symbols. Save it, refresh the browser, and this is true. With the identical operator, the system will also check if the data types are equal. So let's make variable y a string from variable y. Refresh the browser, and you can see that this is false even though the values are the same. But an integer is not the same as a string. Let's make an integer from, from y and give it a value of 10. And the next one is we could see if x is less than or greater than y. Let's save it, refresh, and this is false. But what if we give variable y the value of 15? Now you can see that this is true, even though the values are same, because it could also be equal to. And this can also be done with greater than. Let's save it, refresh the browser, and this is still true. But what if we change it to 16, this is false. And the last operator that we have is called spaceship. Spaceship is an integer The last operator that we have is called an integer. Uh, is With the update of PHP 7, they brought a new comparison out which is called spaceships. The spaceship operator does multiply comparisons and returns a value depending on the value on the left and the right to it. So how it works? It depends on what happens. You will get a number back from the system. So if the value on the left 
is less than the value on the right, the system will return a minus one. And if the value on the left is equal to the value on the right, the system will return a zero. Let me make this one bigger so you could read it easier. If the value on the left is greater than the value on the right, the system will return a one. The name of the spaceship is well, kind of based on the way it looks. It's a less than operator, equal operator, and a greater than operator. So let's say that we have two, two, well, spaceship two. This means that they are equal, so the system will return a zero. And if the left hand side is three, the return value will be one. And if it will be 1, the return value will be minus 1. This was it for this episode. If you do enjoy my content and you want to see more, leave this video a thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button.